Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about why this particular movement upwards, you know, from 30,000 to 45,000, isn't exactly a bull trap. It's not a fake out. Fake out being like these are fake bullish signals and then we're going to go back to 20,000. No, it's not that. In fact, this is just a bullish sentiment and we are going up. I think one of the biggest arguments that the proponents of this uh, theory uh, make is that volume is very low. But if you actually look at last year, if you remember, if you actually remember, uh, we actually started really going up kind of like around the maybe April, May area. And volume wasn't really that high then either. In fact, when we continue to go up in June and July, volume was actually really low. We reached from, you know, like 3,000 during the flash crashes and show here to over 11,000 by August. And look at the volume in July in this like the volume in July was extremely low. And then like the volume now is, you know, greater than the volume from basically to June until August. There were small little bumps, but the volume right now is no uh, is no less than the volume here. So like the a lot of the bull pump from like 3000 to 11000 did not depend on massive amounts of volume. And the thing is like I don't think like when you actually start a bull pump, you actually need that much volume. Instead, if you actually look at this graph the volume was like actually really, really high before we dipped to 3,000 in like basically the, uh, before we dipped to 3,000 in kind of like the black swan event. And then, you know, like it stayed pretty high up until June, but you know, June we were still going up. And, you know, us going from basically 3,000 to 11,000, 12,000, and even into October where we actually went up to like, uh, 18,000, it didn't have a lot of volume. It really wasn't until we broke um, 20,000 that the volume actually started coming in. And you know what 20,000 is? It's the last all time high. So basically from the time we started going up to like us reaching 20,000, which reaches 2017's all time high, we really didn't have that much volume. So a huge amount of volume really is not that required for the price to continuously go up slowly. If you want a giant burst, uh, you know, like 3x, 4x within a month, then you need volume. But a slow creeping price going up with some retraces, of course, does not require a lot of volume. And a lot of analysts have actually said that the situation we are in right now with all the derivatives uh, going down, with the derivatives volume going down, with people taking uh, crypto off the exchanges, mirrors what happened uh, late last year. And the thing is, like late last year, we didn't really get a huge amount of volume until like basically the turn of the year. I think like right now we are in that same phase where our volume is actually pretty small compared to like where we were in the bull run last year. Uh, but the thing is, we're still continuously going up because I think the OTC market is drying up a little bit because the institution's buying and the spot market's being affected. And also, you know, with Bitcoin having taken place uh, basically uh, more than a year back, the supply of Bitcoin is actually being squeezed. So people who are buying in are basically buying all that's left and they're pushing the price up right now. It's very, very similar to when we started rising last year. Obviously, if you take the, the rise from last year, we'd rise 10X and go to like, you know, 300,000, 400,000. That's probably not going to happen. I would still say 100, 150,000, like I said in the last video. But the whole idea that this is some kind of a bull trap or it's some kind of a hoax or that we have to go back to 20,000 before we go back, before we go up because of some like, Wickoff distribution theory or any other like or um, any of their like model charts is I don't think I think it's kind of nonsense because Bitcoin does not have to follow those charts. The low volume doesn't truly indicate that we're actually going down because the volume was pretty low when we actually came up last year. It's just kind of a mirror of that. And the thing is, like the charts have been pretty unreliable anyways, like TA has been very, very unreliable the last couple of months. All of like people have been yelling like 20K for like the last two months before it would actually go up to 40K and that didn't happen. We reached 45 without ever hitting a 20K. In fact, we actually bottomed out at 29,000 over a month and a half ago. And that's when Goldman Sachs actually said, I think 29,000 is the bottom and it was the bottom. So we bottomed out like a couple of months ago and we've been kind of like struggling in that uh, kind of range until about three, like three, four, like maybe like three weeks ago. And then we started going up. Some people are like, we need a retrace to 30,000 to be healthy. I'm just like, dude, we've been retracing for like three weeks and we sat there for a couple of months. We don't need another retrace right now. We have enough momentum to continue upwards. Yes, regulations are still a concern, 
but I think the buying pressure is just too high right now. So despite the fact that there isn't like FOMO amounts of volume, we can actually creep slowly up from 40,000 to maybe 60, 70,000, and then like maybe have a massive double to like 140, 150,000 towards the end of the year. That's actually how I see it playing out exactly like last year, but last year during the summer, the volume was pretty low. Right now during the summer, it's, it's uh, our volume is higher than last summer's, but it's not extremely high. But that does not mean that we're in some kind of a bull trap or we're gonna have a massive pullback to 20K. And the thing is like some people, like if your charts are wrong, you just need to face the fact that charts aren't perfect and they're wrong. And they're just another predictive tool that can be wrong. Same thing with like TA and all those signals. A lot of times like a market like crypto, which is heavily manipulated, can uh, doesn't have to pay attention to any of those rules. And if a couple of whales decide to move one way, then you know all your calculations basically go out the window at this point. You're talking about a market where Elon Musk essentially moved the market a couple of months ago with a couple of tweets. So based on that, obviously like your own charts and charting and TA and all those things really have a very high chance of being wrong. So the thing is like right now, despite our uh, low volume, it doesn't mean we're going to pull back. It really looks like what happened last year, and it really looks like it's just like we're going to go up pretty slowly until a certain point, and then at that point, probably 65,000 because that was the last time high, people are going to FOMO in and maybe push it two, three times higher. So that's what I see for the market. That's why I don't think it's a bull trap or like a fake out or anything. So, and uh, basically my logic is based on what happened last year because this is a mirror of what happened last year. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.